In the not-so-distant future, humanity may set its sights on the red planet Mars. However, what if the future inhabitants of Mars are not aliens or extraterrestrial beings, but rather humans? Humans born and raised on Mars, undergoing a transformation over generations to adapt to the harsh conditions of their new home. These future Martians would be far different from the people we are today. What would they look like? And more importantly, how would they survive? This video delves into the fascinating concept of human evolution on Mars and what life might be like for the Martians of the future. What would it take to live on Mars? Living on Mars is an idea that's been floating around for years, thanks to scientific discussions and fictional accounts. But the reality of establishing a stable human settlement on Mars is a lot more complicated than merely sending people there. To truly establish a permanent presence, humans would need to have children. It's not just about surviving on Mars, but also about reproducing and sustaining human life across generations. Some experts believe that a settlement could begin with as few as 98 people, but others argue that a larger population, at least 10,000, would be needed to ensure genetic diversity and a viable future. Regardless of the number, once humans settle on Mars, the evolutionary process would begin, and over a few generations, the Martian-born would develop traits that make them distinctly different from Earthlings. Mars, the challenges of life on the red planet. While Mars is often described as the most Earth-like planet in the solar system, the reality is far more challenging. The planet's gravity, atmosphere, and lack of a protective magnetic field would present enormous obstacles for human life. These challenges would not only make life difficult, but also initiate changes that would likely push human evolution in a new direction. Gravity, the Martian force. Mars has about one-third the gravity of Earth, a difference that would significantly impact human bodies. On Earth, gravity exerts a constant force on our bones, stimulating them to grow stronger and maintaining their density. However, on Mars, with its weaker gravity, bones would not experience the same level of pressure, leading to a gradual loss of bone mass and density. This could cause Martians to develop thinner, more fragile bones, making fractures and joint issues far more common. Over generations, this reduction in bone density would be a key adaptation to the Martian environment. To compensate, Martians might evolve to have more flexible, but more fragile, skeletal structures suited for the lower gravity, which would make mobility and physical tasks more challenging than for Earthlings. Atmosphere, adapting to a thinner air. The atmosphere on Mars is starkly different from that of Earth. While Earth's atmosphere is rich in nitrogen and oxygen critical for respiration, Mars' atmosphere is made up primarily of carbon dioxide with only trace amounts of oxygen. This would make breathing on Mars impossible for Earthlings without additional support. However, the Martians born under these conditions would likely develop adaptations to help cope with the low oxygen levels. For example, their bodies might evolve to have denser capillaries that are more effective at transporting oxygen through the blood, making oxygen delivery to muscles more efficient. While these changes would help Martians survive, they would still need to live in controlled environments, either underground or in well-insulated structures, to survive the hostile Martian atmosphere. Vision, nearsightedness as an evolutionary trait. Another significant change in Martian humans would likely be their eyesight. Earth's expansive landscapes and vast open skies require humans to see distant objects clearly. However, life on Mars would be vastly different. With the Martians living in confined spaces either underground or within insulated structures they wouldn't need to see far. This could lead to the evolution of nearsightedness. Over generations, Martians would likely be born with poor distance vision, a trait that would be advantageous in their more enclosed living conditions. Radiation, a new form of protection. On Earth, we are protected from harmful solar radiation by our planet's strong magnetic field, which acts as a shield. Mars, however, has a weak and scattered magnetic field, leaving its surface more exposed to radiation. This presents another challenge for human life on the planet. While Earthlings produce melanin to protect their skin from radiation, 
The levels of radiation on Mars would be far too high for melanin alone to be effective. To adapt to these harsher conditions, Martians would likely develop a different form of skin protection carotenoids. These pigments, which are found in plants like carrots, would help protect the skin by slowing the cell cycle, preventing damage from radiation, and even promoting the self-destruction of damaged skin cells. As a result, Martians might develop an orange tint to their skin, similar to the color of carrots, as a natural defense against the lethal rays of the sun. Immune System Weakness in a New World One of the most profound impacts of living on Mars would be on the immune system. Mars is a barren planet, lacking the bacteria and viruses that Earthlings have evolved to fight off. As a result, Martians would likely develop weaker immune systems. While their bodies might adapt to handle Martian diseases, their immune systems would not be as robust as Earthlings. This would make interactions with Earth, particularly visits to the planet, difficult and dangerous for Martians. Furthermore, Mars' unique environment would also affect the Martian body in other ways. The lower gravity would weaken their bones, making it challenging for Martians to survive in the stronger gravity of Earth. So, while Martians may one day be able to thrive on Mars, the idea of returning to Earth might be out of the question for those born on the Red Planet. A New Era of Human Evolution as we look to the future, humanity may no longer be confined to Earth. Once we successfully establish permanent colonies on Mars, the process of human evolution will continue, albeit in a different direction. Over time, we could see a new race of humans emerge, adapted to life on Mars. These future Martians would be equipped to survive in an environment that is drastically different from our own, evolving features like orange skin, nearsightedness, and enhanced oxygen-carrying capabilities. The implications of this are profound, not just for our species, but for the entire concept of humanity. In a few generations, the humans born on Mars might look and function in ways that make them unrecognizable to us. They could be the beginning of an entirely new chapter in human evolution, one that takes place on another planet, far from the one where our species first began. Could Martians ever visit Earth? The question remains, would Martians ever be able to visit Earth? The challenges are significant. With a weakened immune system and brittle bones, Martians would struggle to adapt to the harsh conditions of Earth. The gravity alone would likely be too much for their bodies, making it difficult for them to survive on our planet for extended periods. The physical differences between Earthlings and Martians would be too vast for them to coexist easily especially if Earthlings continue to live in an environment that's far more hospitable. But this doesn't necessarily mean that Martians would never interact with Earth. Perhaps, in the distant future, we could develop technology that would allow them to safely visit, or maybe future Earthlings would find ways to help Martians adapt to life on Earth, the long-term future, beyond Mars. Once we have successfully settled on Mars, it's possible that humanity's expansion into space would not stop there. With the rapid advancement of space travel and colonization, we could eventually have human settlements on planets outside our solar system. These new colonies could further accelerate human evolution, leading to even more differences between Earthlings and the humans living on distant worlds. As humanity spreads across the galaxy, we may encounter other beings in the universe, However, what if these aliens, whom we're so excited and terrified to meet, are actually just future versions of humans, humans who evolved differently on different planets and under different conditions? In the distant future, this could be a reality we face, challenging our understanding of what it means to be human. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of life on Mars, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Stay tuned for more mind-blowing discoveries and theories. Thanks for watching.